Now, I ain't one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speak. The story with B. Smith seems to be getting crazier by the minute. She was always this regal woman with so much class, so this media circus that has become her life definitely doesn't seem like something she would want. But her attention-seeking, money-hungry husband has something else in mind. Now, for those of you that do not know, B. Smith was a restaurateur. She had her own show, B. Smith with Style, and she's now battling Alzheimer's. Her husband, Dan, has been making his rounds on the television circuit with his new girlfriend, Alex Lund. Alex has her own room in the couple's home and although Dan says she does not stay there full time, he does state that she visits quite often. Dan talks about taking care of his Ellen wife, spending time with his new mistress, as well as having time to read death threats that he's received online because of his choices. The internet has been in an uproar about the sister wives lifestyle Dan seems to be promoting with himself, Alex Lerner, and B. Now the question that's on everyone's mind is where the hell is B's family? Now I did some digging and B Smith's background is the only one I've ever found that did not have any family members. The only family members I could find were Dan Gatsby's family members. The only other person that I found was her ex-husband and he died in December of last year. She has called me one of her three brothers, Gary or Ron or Dennis. She I'm not sure if those brothers are still living, but if y'all are, get your sister some help, please. Now, a friend of B. Smith's, Paul Wharton, who's also a TV host, author, and producer, decided to step forward and say that he's not only witnessed Dan flaunting his mistress and kissing her in the pool last year, but he also witnessed Alex smack B.'s hand and chastised Dan for speaking highly of B. in Alex's presence. Tell you. Yeah, Paul, okay. you have, you have an inside gossip, track on this, huh? When you sell your story to People Magazine, hey, all bets are off. Well, right. this is what happened. I've known mm -hmm. B. Smith for a long time. Mm -hmm. Really? And, you know, in certain circles, she's like our Martha Stewart. She was the first black woman to ever have a full line at Bed Bath & Beyond. She was mm -hmm. a great restaurateur. And over the years, we became friends, and, and we were quite close. Um, out. So I'm at a pool party okay. uh, where I was actually staying in the Hamptons, and uh, Dan Gatsby comes in. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dan. Oh, these are pictures. These yeah. are, oh, oh, this, this is, is a video. This is a video. So, wow. okay, there you go. This is the exact That's moment. That's what the locks look like. So those two wet, people huh? in the back, mm -hmm. that's Dan and Alex right there. In the okay. Pool. Oh, you see? Okay. Oh, like yeah. So oh. I'm seeing oh. my friend's husband, Dan Gatsby, come into the pool party. Oh, I'm really? I'm seeing Alex Lerner, who I know from my time in New York, and I know her well. Mm -hmm. And Alex says, well, do you know Dan? I said, do you know Dan? <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and so I'm thinking that they just came as friends. I'm oh, taking this video there. and I'm like, and if you listen to the video, I'm like, oh, uh, Alex is busy at the moment. Wow. So I'm like, okay, oh. what is going on? Mm -hmm. So of course I had to retreat on that. And the next day we end up going to Wolford Estates, a winery up in East Hampton. And we run into Dan, Alex, and B at this winery. Oh man. And I'll tell you, so the, the, you know, I've heard what everybody has to say about it. For me personally, because I know her and I, have known them. This is me walking B around Wolfer um, okay. Estates Winery, and and you know, Dan and Alex, they were saying a lot. Um, she's like a child. I said, but she's not. Mm -hmm. But she's not. She's an adult. And, and, right. and there was a moment where Alex did chastise B a mm -hmm. bit. She was reaching for something on the table, and she smacked her hand. Right. Uh, and I grabbed Alex's hand, and I said, Alex, you know, you really can't do that. Right. And and I, so I think that the the issue is. For one thing, they have great resources. Mm -hmm. I, I I feel like she should be supported more in terms of her caregiving, and this yes. is just my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, Alex coming into this relationship, although her intentions are good, she's still a woman in a relationship with a man Who's that married? wants to be loved. Yes, but you know, and is it easy to be the second wheel in that? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you one other thing, one other piece, um, which I'm going to talk about more on my podcast, Politics, which starts the second season this Thursday. Oh, oh. good point. But, um, <laughs> but I'll tell you, um, Dan was at the table. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Dan was at the table, and he was saying to me, you know, B is the kindest, sweetest woman I've ever met, and, and I'm going to share. And I didn't want you for a long time, but Alex looked at him and smacked the heck out of his arm. Wow. And she said, I'm sitting here, and you're saying that B is the kindest, sweetest woman you ever met? Mm-hmm. Oh, and I said, Alex, man. that's his wife. Yeah. So 
this woman has some obvious jealousy and tension with B and B can't do anything about it so not only is she smacking Dan around but she's smacking B around as well what else is happening behind closed doors when no one else is around who has B's back who can take up for her because obviously her husband can't um, but after a while I understood or it seemed to me you know as if I had met a man who has a child in a sense that B is now very childlike and his responsibilities are almost those uh, of a single father like really being there 24 7 taking care of every and all of her needs how would you describe your relationship with B? we find ways to laugh together and find joy you know in taking walks or doing things together and I would almost say that it's like sisters I respect her and I want her to be well and feel good mm -hmm. and have and have love in her life and when we are together I feel there's a lot of love around us we're in a very caring and loving relationship with B having met Dan I knew that there would be no Dan without B we make sure that um, you know she has the best care possible it is also, it has opened a much larger conversation that we all need to have. Now Dan claims this is what B would have wanted. What do you say to people who say, well, okay, go ahead, have your life, have your relationship, but why do you have to be so public about it? Uh, because that's what Barbara asked me to do. To now the couple has wrote a book about Alzheimer's and he records every aspect of her life. I'm not sure why that part wasn't in the book and why he didn't get it on tape. I don't believe you. Now my girl Tanya TKO on YouTube pointed out this interview and this was crazy. He says he now realizes he will need more help as the disease progresses. But he needs his wife of 22 years to feel the same. Would that be okay for him to bring in help? Well, I go very slowly with that one. She said it, she meant it, and she represented it. I do not think she's okay with Alex being around. I just think she can't express herself at this point. Now it's obvious that B was the brains and money of this relationship and Dan always had this controlling air about himself. Nothing bad happened so I was, you know, but I knew better afterwards. That you won't do that again. That I won't, yeah, that I wouldn't do that again. Now Dan mentioned in an interview with The View that he sold an old house that he and B shared. You can have your girlfriend live she, in our home. No, let me say, let me, no, let me, let me say this. What she said to me was, well, first of all, I sold a home. The, that, the home that I was the, the, in. Yeah, You're right. because every day she was escaping three, four times, and it was almost like, and, and, and I know and it Joy. it was right on the water. It was right so, on the water, right. but she'd end up walking down the road. She would get up into, if she saw someone who was a large black man, she would get in the car yeah. because she thought it was me. Yeah. yeah. And we had a situation where, I said we're gonna. We, we sold the home. I bought another home, a bigger home. At this point in my life, at almost 65 years old, I should be in a two-bedroom, not having to worry. But I wanted her to have the dignity of freedom, sanity for me, and at the same time, I wanted to make sure that as long as I have her, I could have easily placed her in a facility so dan wants y'all to feel sorry and got y'all thinking that he sold that house because b was sick no the thing is like i told y'all b was the breadwinner now she bought this house for four hundred thousand dollars herself back in 1993 she paid about half down and then she got the other half finance dan whose real name is clarence alvin daniel gasby sold the house for seven million seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars on april 20th 2007 17 in his name alone and it was a cash purchase on the same day that he sold her home he bought a home cash for two million dollars april 20th 2017 now let me emphasize this again this was a cash purchase now on june 7th 2018 he decided to take money out of the home the home is already paid for he took nine hundred thousand out of the home this is right before he moves his mistress in now Dan owns this home, so what would make him take a $900,000 mortgage out on it? Well, his breadwinner, as he states, is in a toddler form. She's like a four-year-old, so she can no longer make money for him. Dan is not making any money for himself. 
Zan also wanted that tax deduction because those taxes on that home would have been high. Now if you pay cash for a home you'll lose the mortgage interest deduction. If you qualify however the IRS will allow you to continue taking deductions for your property taxes and interest on a home equity line of credit which is also called a HELOC which is what he got. Dan wants you to feel bad for him saying oh at my age I should be living in a small two bedroom apartment living my life and I did this and that for B. No you pocketed seven million dollars from the sale of her home. You have enough money that you could get her help. You're too cheap to do so because you have no income coming in on the regular. B was a very quiet and reserved person and I highly doubt that she would want this media circus around her the way you have it around her. You're doing this because you're needing money. You sold a story to People Magazine. You're doing this press run because you need money. You bought a 2007 Mercedes G-Wagon from a salvage auction right around the time that you bought the home. Like you took that $7 million, you're penny pinching. You don't want to get her any help because you're a penny pincher and you know you ain't got no ways of making money. You know if you even attempt to live lavishly as you and B once did or you even hire someone to take care of her full time because you seem like she's such a burden to you, B's money will eventually deplete and you have no money coming in for yourself. So you're living real cheaply. Right now B cannot speak for herself and it doesn't seem like she's going to have a family that's going to stand up for her. So we as fans or we that have just learned about this story need to stand in solidarity and figure out what can be done about this situation. Paris Milan, who's another YouTuber who has done an excellent job covering this story, posted a link yesterday for Adult Protective Services in New York. I'm thinking about contacting. If you guys can do so as well, that would be a help. Maybe they can just go and at least check and see what's going on with this situation with B. In the meantime, what I need you guys to do is tell me what you think about this story and Dan Gatsby and Alex Lerner doing this complete press run. Leave a comment and you know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. And before you go, don't forget to hit the bell for notifications, like this video, and subscribe. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.